we're launching a new exhibit at the Ottawa Sport Hall of Fame. Uh, Ottawa Race Weekend, sorry, Tamarack Ottawa Race Weekend is having a, uh, for the next three months, we're taking over, taking over the physical space of the Ottawa Sport Hall of Fame and doing their own exhibits of shoes, of old t-shirts, displays, flags. They're going to have an interactive one eventually come. It's not here right now, but it's going to come. And we're just celebrating part of Ottawa's sporting heritage. Well, we're opening the uh, the Tamarack Ottawa Race Weekend, Scotiabank Ottawa Marathon uh, Hall of Fame exhibit, which is going to be running for the next uh, three months, I think, uh, really showcasing the 45-year history of the of the marathon and, and everything that's gone on since since then. It's just wonderful to be here today. I can't tell you. It, it's so exciting to see this exhibit. You know, the marathon is such a huge thing in Ottawa, and to have an exhibit actually downtown at City Hall, like in the middle of the action, it's just wonderful. And it's going to be here for several months, so even if you can't get here while the marathon's on, which might be challenging, people can come and see it any time over the summer, it's, and it's wonderful. It's really good. It recognizes the growth and the importance of the race uh, for our capital city, uh, starting in 1975. I wasn't born, but you know there was a lot of people with great ideas that built the uh, the program, and now to what it's become, really a showcase in our capital city. Uh, that it'd be uh, the smaller distances, the 5K to the to the full marathon. There's there's something for everyone, and as part of that, the community really comes together with all the volunteers that it takes to run such a big race. Well, I think it's a reflection of what this event means to the city. Uh, you know, when it started, it was small and it's grown. And now, it, of course, it involves not just the runners, but the touristic aspect. It involves charities, school kids, and a whole lot of different things for the community. And I think, you know, this is a reflection of that meaning to us. I mean, we're basically on the race site, so this will, I think, will be open during the, uh, the, the race weekend itself. Uh, and it's, uh, it's a beautiful building. This is a very historic building, and this room is uh, very, very unique. And uh, to have our trophies and old shirts and some of these things on display here is kind of cool, and I hope, hope a lot of people will take it in. Al McCartney uh, is on the board. He's one of the, one of the main guys who runs Ottawa Race Weekend. He was on our board a number of years ago. So he came to us and said, listen, we do an event. He really had to leave because their event is one week before our event, which is May 31 and they're May 24. He goes, can we do something in the hall? I go, in the physical hall, we want to get, we want to drive traffic here, which created an excuse, created an opportunity. He goes, good, can we come in with displays, take over the whole place? We went, well, we hadn't thought of that before, but sure, let's give it a shot. So he created, between them, they came up with this idea, let's create the environment where we can showcase. I go, great, as long as you don't cover our honored members, uh, that is fine, but you know, we're celebrating them, they're celebrating us, it's a great partnership that way.